Okay. So how much C++ you should know to learn Cartier programming using CAA? Pause the video and read this note. I am not going to read it loud here. Okay. Now come back to Visual Studio. As said, I am trying to write the code for you so that you can understand how to add two numbers. So at level one, actually zero kids level, you can just take two variable x and y and you can sum them right with plus operator and store them in the sum variable and just print them. So this is the first level that is the minimum knowledge you should have in C++. But that is obviously not enough for working in a professional level. Not only Katia programming or CA, not for doing even any C++ programming. The next level is obviously you should convert your program instead of calling the addition of two num uh, adding the numbers directly, you should actually add the numbers using a function. Now here I have sent two numbers as input parameters and the third number is actually a output parameter. That's why I have passed it with reference. So uh, you add it inside the function and the function returns a boolean value stating it's true. The function can be optimized but I am just giving a simple example. I have not considered any negative cases. Now in the client side I mean in the caller side you, you will check whether the function executed successfully if it returned true it means it's executed successfully only then you print the result using this sum variable which has been populated inside the add function and the changes has been uh, transmitted to the calling function by this due to this reference operator okay i hope you are good at this so any school level students should know how to program c++ at this level using functions and reference variable okay next level if you go to the engineering college you should make it object oriented when you are writing functions like this this is not object oriented this is purely function based programming only functions are there there is no class and object this is a global function but when you wrap the same function inside a class this become a class and object based programming that is object oriented programming the calling side changes a little bit as instead of calling the global function you are calling a function which is a class member function by the way at this stage it is a static that's why you don't create object of the cmath class you can directly call the function uh, which is actually a static function of the class I tried to keep it uh, this way to make it similar like this. So after this, this is fair coding knowledge you have. You have learned object oriented programming, static functions, reference variable, uh, if condition and of course obviously there will be a C in C out uh, for loop or something like that. You know that. But that is not even uh, good for doing com programming or ca programming so what exactly you need to know for doing com programming look at this if you look at the calling level it looks very much similar exactly uh, like this one right like this one instead of just checking with the if condition whether is it true this statement is true you are checking here like a something called something that i will explain not succeeded the function call remains kind of same and you print it so this side remains same but the main problem is the implementation of this cmath class now this cmath class is supposed to call the hocus pocus of com right com automation i am not going to explain each and everything in detail here obviously once you learn com programming either from me or from somewhere else 
you should be able to understand all this so as you see the code uses uh, pointers and interfaces class factories okay and as you see just for doing simple addition where we are actually doing addition we are doing addition here so one thing i did a mistake i have passed hard coded values here it should be actually it should not be passed here it should be coming from here exactly so i have forgotten to remove it but anyway so the actual addition is happening have uh, is happening here now this add function is part of this pointer itself uh, i mean uh, this add function is implemented somewhere else on the server side this is only client side code as i told server side code is more complicated than the client side than the client side code now consider if this is only the easiest client side code what will be the server side code okay now forget about that at this stage this is just easy part of the com that is client side coding and finally you releases the pointer something like that so this is just for adding two numbers you can consider at this stage and you should be knowing all of them uh, to become a com level c programmer c plus plus programmer this code will remain same as it is right so it depends so you have to first you write uh, normal addition with just plus operator then you make functions okay and global functions then you learn how to make object oriented programming using class and objects uh, wrap the global functions as uh, member variable and a member functions of the class some class it can be static or non static and then fun then finally you add uh, com related um, functionalities inside your class so that it supports com function calling okay so now once you know this you are good to go with cut your programming using ca i hope this video gives you a fair idea how much c++ you should know now you can plan from where level which level to which level you want to improve so if you are already at college level programming you are good at c++ you know object oriented programming in c++ your next item would be learning com and i can recommend you to learn either from uh, there uh, there is a good course on plural site uh, com essentials there is part 1 and part 2 you can grow uh, go with that i myself have uh, done that certificate but i had to go through that video tutorial two three times to understand it fully so it takes a lot of time and energy and practice they have given some sample source code i have analyzed those debugged them and understood at my level then i made my own set of uh, tutorials on com and i am very curious to share that knowledge with anybody interested to learn com programming and ca programming thank you one small correction in this program it should be succeeded and not not succeeded that that was a silly mistake from my side as i have not tested it while i was recording i was in hurry but i hope you already caught that problem that issue and now you know what should be the actual flow right thank you